hello everyone in this lecture video uh, let us try and analyze how does the capacitor or in general any rc circuit behaves in the presence of a current source to understand the behavior of the rc circuit with uh, any current source let us first begin by understanding what the current source is actually like here the simple symbol uh, which is used to indicate a current source and the work of this current source is to maintain constant current in whichever branch it is being plugged in for example let's say this is a current source uh, which is having 1 amps of its uh, current the current of this current source is 1 amps so if I plug this current source into any network it maintains a constant current of 1 amps in that particular branch uh, this definition will be clear as and when we move forward but as of now to understand this meaning uh, graphically uh, we can do it using this graph okay so what I wanted to say is now, if this is the current source, the current I, irrespective of whatever time, this current source maintains constant current, that is 1 amps, throughout the time. And another important thing to remember about the current source is, the voltage across this current source can be anything. I will just repeat, the voltage across the current source can be anything. It can be 1 volt. 10 volts, 10,000 volts, doesn't matter. The voltage across the voltage, uh, uh, sorry, the voltage across the current source is not decided by the current source. But whatever connection you make to this uh, current source, that circuit will decide what must be the voltage across this current source. The current source only says, if you plug me into a branch, I will give you a constant current but the voltage across the current source can be anything okay I'll just repeat the sentence for you the voltage across the current source can be anything but the current will always be constant okay let us just uh, see what is uh, what does this mean in a network well, here is just an example to say if I have a current source of 2 amps it will maintain a constant current of 2 amps. Now what happens if I plug in uh, a current uh, let's say of 2 amps through to a network where it, there is a R as well as C. In this example you can notice there is only one path for the current to flow and there is no branching of the current. What do I mean by branching? The current cannot divide here. It goes here and takes around and uh, actually there must be a ground connection which must be shown here okay here is the ground connection so the current will go through the one ohm resistor and then through one ferret capacitor and then it will go to the ground there is no way that the current can change here because it is a single path okay the current source decides the current in the given path it means this is the path but in this circuit there are no branches the current cannot divide here for example it will go to this and then it will enter to the capacitor all right okay uh, but this uh, doesn't apply when uh, uh, there is there is branching of current okay uh, let's see that a little uh, uh, well let's see that uh, after some time now what is the voltage across the resistor if uh, let's say this is 2 amps uh, of current what will be the voltage across this resistor the same 2 amps current will flow th through this resistor the same 2 amp current will also flow through this capacitor for resistor it is very simple application we know the voltage is equal to I into R so 2 amps of current flowing through 1 ohm of resistor it is 2 volts but what about the voltage across the capacitor let this question be unanswered as of now we will see the answers to this in the next proceeding sessions okay going forward 
let's see if there is a branching of the current how to analyze such circuits now the circuit is not the same there is a 2 amps of current but here you can see there is branching the current can divide here some current will go downward and some current will go to this network okay uh, please ignore this capacitor of 1 farad it's a mistake so let's say there is a resistor here and two resistors in cascade so some amount of current will flow through this resistor and some amount of current through this uh, network which has two resistors okay so this two amps of current is dividing here okay so in this only from the path from right from here till here the current is two amps but here it can be different here it can be different it depends on the load okay now let us come back to the question what happens to the voltage across the capacitor if we push a constant current through it for resistor we saw it is just uh, voltage is equal to current into resistance that is v is equal to i into r so that is a constant number it is a fixed constant but the voltage across the capacitor may not be so let us see how it is this is our circuit only thing we have to just remember about capacitors is the equations which relate the v i and c the voltage across the capacitor is just given by 1 by c into integration of the current with respect to time and this integration the lower limit usually must be assumed as minus infinity it means you must consider the current which was available before zero time and then start integrating and the higher limit depends whether uh, it can be anything for example let's say you want to find the voltage after t is equal to 5 microsecond you have to integrate it from minus infinity to 5 microsecond and so on okay so as of now to keep the concept very simple remember given the current you have to just integrate that current and scale it by 1 by c to get the voltage okay now we have to integrate the current what is the nature of the current if it is constant how does it look like we have already seen the current will be a constant like this with respect to time okay in this example i'm assuming that the current value was zero before t is equal to zero the current value at t is equal to zero will be constant and it will continue so such a waveform is called as a step waveform okay whose uh, which has a constant value throughout okay now if i integrate such a waveform which is constant with respect to time let's say i integrate it from minus infinity but uh, from minus infinity to zero i have whatever you integrate the value is zero so you don't have to worry so let us just integrate from zero from zero to let's say some t let's say some t how does the waveform look like here we are not worried about the absolute value we just want to know what is the nature of the graph now if you integrate constant terms with let's say a constant step waveform uh, let's try this the integration integration must be considered as area under the curve so what happens if i integrate integrate a step uh, let's say the value of this uh, current is let's say uh, 2 amps correct so it is 2 amps here 2 amps here 2 amps everywhere so if in, if i add 2 amps from z at 0 it is 2 2 amps let's say uh, increment the time by delta t it will again be 2 amps so integration is just addition 2 amps plus 2 amps it will become 4 and if i move forward 4 plus 2 it becomes 8 8 sorry 4 plus 2 it becomes 6 6 plus 2 will become 8 and so on so if i go on adding constant values that is if i integration if i integrate a constant value the integrated value will become a ramp it will ramp up because we are adding constant values we are adding constant values like 
2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8 and so on. So the voltage will be something like this. It will start from 0, then we add 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So it looks like a ramp. So the basic idea is to convey that if you take a capacitor and you push a constant current through it, the voltage across that is going to become a ramp. Remember this, it's very important. So this will be the second class of uh, RC circuits where we do not have a voltage source but we have a current source. To make uh, circuits more complex, we can have both voltage sources as well as current sources. So as of now, we'll just repeat it. If you take a current source and push that constant current through a capacitor, the voltage across that will become a ramp because integration of a step or a constant quantity with respect to time is always a ramp waveform. Thank you for now. We will meet in the next video.